Rock and roll. Hey, everybody, how we doing? My name is Ben Miney, and of course I'm right beside the one and only Pez, Matt Lopez, in the booth, and it's time to get to the nitty-gritty. Game on. Let's go. What's up, Miney? Good to see you again. What's up? Good to see you. Good Always to see everybody here. To be here for this uh, Saturday final table here at TCH Dallas. Kind of a special one here, as you know, we all know the big series that's going on in Las Vegas. But we had a great turnout tonight, actually. Big turnout. Yeah, big we turnout. We 3X'd our guarantee. It was a 20,000 guarantee. We got 60,000 in the pool as the hand number one does conclude. Looks like a raise and take there gets it done. We have a very special name there in the nine seats. He's a Hall of Famer in the poker world. His name is TJ Cloutier, and he is here. And he has a big stack, over a million in chips to start this final table. Yeah, looking at these stack sizes, it should be an uh, interesting get here. We got uh, a nice spread of wealth throughout these stacks. Some min, some large, and then a couple smalls. Absolutely. We're getting the audio worked out here real quick for you guys, so apologize right off the ground. Can't really hear anything of the table audios or player mics. As the players are mic'd up tonight, we're going to get that fixed here in a second. You know, I've heard you guys talk about this while I was watching, and I've never experienced it. it is, oh, it's it great. Is slightly different. Kieran here with Pocket Kieran's on the button. Going to bump it up to 100K as the blinds are 20,000, 40,000 with the 40,000 big blind Andy to start out. SC looking at Jack 7 off. And another raise and take it. Absolutely. Good evening, all my uh, chat pros in the chat. I see you. Uh, I see you in there. A bunch of normal uh, regulars from the chat. Poker Ski, Ragnar, JTN, Intra, Skull. Good evening. You Thank see, you for joining us. So I know that one of our cameras is down, so we don't have the overhead shot between hands when they're with the dealer's pitching. I think that shot looks awesome. It does. Yeah. I agree. The angled shot of yeah, when the they're angle. Yeah. I don't know if that that's a lot more work for the guys in the back. I'll have to ask <laughs> them later. But like, dang, that looked clean. Nice. Small things. Small things. Small things. Kieran here. What back oh, to back wow. super premiums? Just had kings. Now he has queens. He's gonna bump it up to 100k. He only has to get through a couple more players though. He might not find the action. SC in the small one with an offsuit ace five. Not quite strong enough. Still lots of players. And, of course, you know, Charles down there in seat seven sitting on 30K here. No, Don't want to risk your stack when you could very easily just wait out a pay jump here. Yeah, especially with that, that uh, the short stack there. Normally I wouldn't I, I probably wouldn't say something like that, but when it's less than a big blind. Absolutely. That's yeah. definitely – you can definitely – Just wait. Definitely just wait. Yeah, just wait for uh, – Super incentivized to wait for that one player. And if Charles goes on a run, he goes on a run, then we can start opening it up. But yeah, exactly. Just want to get more information here. As the pay jumps are pretty real, let's look out. Uh, let's look up what the, what the, what's going on here. What's ninth place? Ninth place get ninth place gets fifteen hundred eighty three, and eighth place gets nineteen seventy nine. You can find all of the payouts in the description of chat tonight. With first place walking away with a nice, cool fourteen grand. It's a lot of money for a 365 buy-in. Big fan. All right, we continue on here from Dallas. Welcome. We got more of, you, more and more of you guys joining in as the night does go by. 209 of you right off the bat. We just started. There's already 200 of you guys. That is so awesome. Thank you all for being here. At Texas Card House tonight, watching these great players play some great poker. And now how about Jack with a great hand? A couple of 10s. Going to bump it up, make it 100K to go. And for our usual viewers, you know who Jack is from uh, Next Gen Poker? You might know him. 
might know. Oh my. Wow, that's kind of a sick one. Oh wow, Quad J waking up with the aces here against Jack's pocket tins. And the pot's already 200K and they don't have a lot of stack behind, so I can't imagine this being a small pot by any means. He goes for a min click, makes it 200K to go. Jello probably honestly loving this, hoping he's up against some sort of ace X holding. Absolutely. Button range is obviously very wide. Yeah, and you can see with, uh, you know, he's basically got 10 big blinds left in his stack. A, a, a jam here is definitely in play. Out of position. Let's see what he decides to do. Though, so Jack, I mean, oh yeah. My. Oh, wow. Wow. What? what? A, wow. Jesus. I think that's, I mean, awesome. Yeah, right? no, like, it, and wow. I think, um, I think that shows how much he's actually been studying his ICM. Exactly. Knowing, That's yeah, a great point like, to make. He only yeah. had 12 big blinds. He's still got Charles to worry about the very next hand. Exactly. He's just you not don't strong enough. It. You know, you don't want to wow, yeah. yeah, you don't want to, you know, run into a cooler there and miss a easy ladder up from your neighbor. Uh, but that's not an easy fold to make in real time. Uh, but that, I think that's definitely why he made the fold. That was pretty pretty savvy play there, knowing uh, Charles is behind, and he's in the big blind next hand. So, uh, you know, he's all in on his next hand, so he just didn't want to take the chance there. But, uh, yeah. Very heads-up fold. Nice stuff. And now we're going to see the all in, all in here. Charles with really nothing to work with. 7-4 offsuit. He needs a miracle on this board. 7-4 in a dream. That is that is, that is the phrase for sure. Yeah, SC let's here, see how many of these threes. players call behind to uh, try to force the out here. He does let go of the threes. Quad J with ace ten of the cutoff, not hating that, not hating it can just limp to eliminate a player or raise to protect. He's gonna go with the latter. He's gonna make a one twenty five to go. He's gonna try and thin the field. He's got the blind, the small blind out. Now he's got to worry about Kieran. Queen six of spades. He might just let this one go. Or they might tag team to eliminate this player. He thought about it, but he's going to think better of it. So now it's ace-10 versus 7-4. Much better spot for the 7-4 now. Didn't really want to go multi-ways. Now he just needs to connect one of his pairs and hope his opponent doesn't do a dang thing. Yeah, with the raise there, I don't think anyone really calling that behind. They're just going to let him have his chance at it. Not give a triple up opportunity. Ace in the window. Yikes. Yeah, no, not even a diamond in Charles's hand needs now drawing yeah, absolutely dead. dead, and that is going to be Charles's tournament. He walked into this final table with less than a big blind, and he's going to take home the ninth place money. Charles, I'm sure you had a much better run during the long portion of this tournament, but it was yeah. a pleasure seeing you again on the final table. Yeah, pleasure seeing him again. He actually did ladder up a couple times there when it was uh, two tables full. Nice. He got uh, very fortunate to. Uh, get ninth place here and take home $1,583. And now we're down to, the, to eight players here, and we might see more play now. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I don't see uh, Jello folding 10 now. Definitely going to open the action up now that the, that ladder's gone. Ace 10 for Kieran. Looks like now he's going to put the pressure on. Might even raise this time. It looks like he will. He'll make it 105,000. Quad J looking at Queen 4 suited. 
Thinks better of it. Back to Pat on the button. 8-3 suited. That's not going to be him. And it's back to the blinds. Jack 6-4 offsuit says no. And that's going to be a raise and take. A lot of familiar faces, not only to the <coughs> final table, but also to the live stream. I know Pat and the Hats played a couple times on the 1-3. <coughs> Absolutely. I see a question about the buy-in and, and uh, payouts, etc. If you guys want to know the information about that, it is all in the description of the stream tonight. So close it out of the chat and look at the description. It's got everything you could possibly want to know. I will answer it once for you, though. It is 365 365 bucks was each buy-in unlimited re-entry for the first four hours of play, leading us to 203 entries, culminating a pool of $60,000, or $60,900. Just a, uh, a triple up there. Triple guarantee, always Absolutely. fantastic. Always a great turnout here in Dallas. If uh, you're new here and you haven't played here, you want to know more about uh, how many people come out, this is pretty typical. Ace 10 for Jack now. Yeah, SC with an interesting raise there with how much he has left. And I really like this play from Jack, just having that awareness. Oh, sense. that makes more sense. Yeah, that makes more sense. <laughs> All right, so we actually had a little bit of an action track mishap, mishap there. Quad J actually opened it up to 125 with King Jack off and did not want to call the all-in from the ace-10 from Jack. Nice hand, nice hand. Jack when I saw it, when they zoomed in on his stack size, I was like, oh, yeah, that's definitely not Yeah, correct. definitely not. not the yeah, right there. sorry about that, guys. Rich Greenberg in the chat. Good playing with you on uh, Friday there, buddy. Morning Turbo. <laughs> if you're just tuning in now, you're watching the final table coverage of our $20,000 guarantee final table here at Texas Card House Dallas. TJ Cloutier is in attendance and he has a very large sack. So it's nice to see Hall of the Hall of Famer here at our final table. King Tack, it's King Tack, <laughs> King 10 for Jack. It's going to go ahead and do a min click here on the button, and TJ with a suited ace. Looks like he's going to massively raise up to 345, excuse me, 345. And yeah, no, I don't think, I can't imagine Jack is, it was either shepherd fold, you're not just calling here. Absolutely not, and from the small <laughs> blind, this is just a very, yeah, very strong move from the small blind there. Uh, technically, that uh, that small blind range with that type of raise is typically a very strong hand, and some people consider Ace Five suited a very strong hand, especially in tournament play. Rob Gardner showing up in chat. What's up, Rob? And hello to everybody in chat. If you were here to be from the beginning, thank you for joining us. No, I saw Skullbone, Ragnar Overby, Alice is here, Frank B, Wes Moran, JTN, I think I said that. DFS Brad is here. Walter is here. Better nine. Poker Ski. Quad J looking at pocket tens now. All right. A lot of pocket pairs here. See if he gets any action. Now it's back to the blinds. Small blinds out for Kieran with a 10 tray. And uh, Dove here with King 5 off. And the big blind, I can't imagine he's going to be jamming with the. Or, sorry, not jamming specifically, but uh, <laughs> playing playing this hand. It's tough to use the verb jam. Yeah, and the big blind, too, <laughs> with five bigs left. It's. Uh, There's Doug. Yes, no, I see you, Doug. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I see very, you. very uh, tough spot to be in. My guy, Doug. <laughs> Rich.
Arch Greenberg, Intramorph. Lots of our chat regs showing up tonight. Nothing but love for you for the chat. And if you're new here as well, welcome. Now TJ with ace nine in the cutoff and a big stack. He's going to make it 100K to go. Versus three more players. That's one. That's two. Oh, and a queen 10 suited for SC. Only 60K more to call. But he only has three, well, just about four and some big blinds. For about yeah, four and a half big blinds. This is a, a slam dunk all in. I don't know how much longer you can actually wait to get a better hand. Suited Broadway cards here in your big blind. I think uh, you have to let this one rip. We'll see what he decides to do. Obviously, you wish you could have some fold equity here. He doesn't really. That is his biggest problem right now. Yeah, especially with TJ uh, having the chip lead in the cutoff. You know, this range could be very wide, and you can see now you know, ace nine offsuit isn't particularly strong, but he's applying max pressure to the small blind, short stack, and the big blind, short stack, uh, like he's supposed to for having uh, all the chips right now. He's kind of finding another spot. Yeah, real interesting lay down there in the big blind, but, uh, you know, these guys have been playing probably with each other for the last two hours or so if they were at the same table or mixed table, so. Absolutely, you guys. If you are having a great time tonight on this fine Saturday evening, why don't you do me one quick favor and just hit that like button. It costs you nothing, and it goes a long way to support your favorite stream. That's my one time. One time. DOV finding a pocket eights here. He's going to raise it up on his button. Quad J with 3 4 suited in his big blind. Interesting. Just an open here from Dove. Only has three big blinds back. I guess he just really wants that action. That's going to be kind of sus. Oh, wow. I mean, he's not, he doesn't get the action anyway. I don't think he ever was going to get the action on that hand. but Yeah, he had the, the chips in the hand. I don't know that there's an exchange of words, and I don't know if uh, that affected what he was going to do. But, uh, yeah, he's just going to let it let it go. Dove here is actually a tournament regular at Texas Card House in 100%. Dallas. 100%. And, uh, and I asked I asked these players when I did my little speech before the, t the table starts who, who all was their first time. And when he, when he raised his hand, that it was his first time at the, on the Saturday final table, I was pretty much dumbfounded. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's kind of well. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, he plays all of our tournaments here, so yeah, we're very, very happy to have him here on the final table. Played many morning turbo final tables with that gentleman. We're, of course, talking about that seat, too. And lots of our tournament regulars here on our final table. I love to see it. Oh, absolutely. I love to see yeah. our regulars getting there, making some money for themselves. Against a big field, like 200 and some players. That's what I'm talking about. And Kieran here, ace, seven of hearts and the hijack, and above it up to 125. And JJ here has yep. him dominated in the big blind. Woke up with the ace jack of spades. Sitting on 775, he definitely has room to three bet, but in fact, he just want to see a flop. Yeah, two of the middling stacks here. <laughs> And I see King 10 8 2 Heart. So a over and a gutter for JJ to Broadway. And how about the nut flush draw for Kieran? He's going to go check, oh, check, check. And Deuce is a blank on the turn. Maybe JJ could go ahead and turn his hand into a. I mean, he's bluff, he'd be bluffing with the best of it. Yeah. It's almost like a semi bluff here. Thing is, I don't think you're going to get any kings or tens to fold here. And Kieran's now going to bet his flush draw. And let's see what JJ decides to do. In fact, he does let it go. Folds the best hand, but of course, 
not really loving ace jack space. Yeah, range board. v range there. <coughs> when you don't hit your ace jack, you know your opponent in that position can definitely have either the king or the ten there. So it's I mean it even it just smells a lot like a ten, right? Like absolutely tens checking back yeah. on a flop, and ten's gonna bet when it's checked two on the turn. So on a whiff turn. Yeah. So it's okay, just the old nice hand on to the next one. Mitch in the chat. Heard of that guy. I don't know if you said his name. No, I did not. Welcome, Mitch. Hello. How the heck are you? Behave yourself. 10-9 <laughs> of hearts here for TJ does not want to play it. I got to learn from something from TJ because I would have absolutely played that. Hand. Yeah, I think in later position it's a little more acceptable, but with the, uh, with the shorter stack over there, you know, he opens up. What are you going to do? Yeah, Three bets you. What are you going to do? Never calling any shoves. Yeah. So just wait until we're deeper to start playing hands like that, I suppose. Absolutely. You learn something new every day. Never said I was the best poker player. I don't think anybody is. <laughs> it's hard to be the best poker yeah. player. Very difficult. Dove here going to go ahead and smooth limp with the ace eight of hearts, and it has everyone beat right now. What's the flop going to be, though? Anything can happen. <coughs> 10 for Trey, and I know that's a pair of fours for somebody. That's Pat in the hat. That's the best hand showed him right now. Gutter for JJ. Backdoor spades and ace high for Dove. So, But Dove's the one who's going to continue. Well, he's going to bet, excuse me, for 100K. JJ, let's, let's go of his gutter. And Pat in the hat with a pair. Pretty hard to make a pair in this game. And, ooh, but he's going to let it go. Dove gets the bluff through. Yeah, it's a very suspicious bet there with this stack size. He's just uh, it's a real interesting spot. Second pair there. A lot of these players, like we always see, you know, every Saturday kind of filling each other out for the final. Sizing everybody up, seeing what uh, how players are going to react. TJ waking up with the premium oh, under the gun. He's going to make it 125 to go. The player's still 3Xing on, on these blind levels. and I didn't see a lot of that during the deeper parts of our Sunday. Mm -hmm. Or, sorry, our 250K. So I'm wondering where that stops. Maybe when, when we get to, like... 10 big blinds for everybody. <laughs> That's and Dove's going to call with his dominated ace. Ace 8 suited. And another ace. Quad J with ace two suited. <laughs> He's going to let it go. Oh, well. <laughs> and the last, the case ace. <laughs> case ace folded. Yeah, so there will hopefully not be an ace on this <laughs> flop. Heads up, though. Ace king v ace eight. Let's see it. And it's going to be no pair for nobody. But how about the not, not, not diamond draw, excuse me, for Dove? Yeah, and TJ with the king of diamonds himself for a backdoor. Dope. Let's see what here. he decides to do. Oh, wow. Shows it to everybody and folds his hand. Carlo Chat Pro is here. What's up, my guy? Welcome. Carlo. Welcome, welcome. Guys, we've got 600 of you tuning in. Right at the beginning of our final table, thank you all for joining. And don't go anywhere. Plenty of tournament action to be found at Texas Card House Live. Benjamin Miney and myself, Matthew Lopez Pez, with you all evening tonight. Don't touch that dial. We're not going anywhere. No commercial breaks, maybe. I mean, technically. Get yourself a snack, get yourself a drink. Someone you love. Let's watch some poker. I love it. 
I love the camera action. I love the camera action. I love this final table we stream every Saturday here from TCH Dallas. Always a pleasure to watch this tournament poker play. And we got players like TJ Cloutier, Hall of Famer. Dude, we don't get many Hall of Famers, no. poker Hall of Famers in our final table. We really don't. All these players outlasted about 190 others. Including myself. Oof. It's okay. Any of these guys do it? No. No? No. I didn't. From what happened, I didn't think it would happen to you. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> it is what it is. As I like to say, and I will make a shirt that says this, beats. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Dub going to flat his ace five off here. SC with the king nine suited. Great hand to ship with here. And one more player to, two more players to get through here. Raise 125. Looks like Dove's going to make this call. And we're going to go to a uh, good old-fashioned race here. Ace high in the lead, but anything can happen. Plenty of equity for the King Nine of Clubs. Let's see a run out. The Ace of Clubs is out as well. Something to note here. And I got a King High board. Looking for an Ace or an Ace only for Dove. Otherwise, Short Stack's going to get a double up here. Oh, running fives, I suppose, now is possible. Definitely possible. And a nine on the river will solidify the end of it for two pair. Nice hand for SC. He gets some chips going his way. And we continue on eight-handed. It's always nice to get a double up this late when you're short stack. Gives you some, some more hope. $1,979 is the next payout. That's a good chunk of change. I'd be willing to take that home for about 10 hours work, 12 Absolutely, hours and we got to the final table pretty quick, actually. I mean, any time you cash a tournament is plus EV. 100%. So 3Xing a, a prize pool and getting some of that is always great. Let's continue on. Hand number 18 of the night. Ace tray of hearts for Jack. Looks like he might make a move. Yeah, very reasonable hand in the cutoff here. And he goes with the... Well, it's 25.50 now, so let's see where we're at here. Just over a min click? Yep, just over a min click. 115. Hey, so can you hear us at all or no? Just do that? Don't fear Jack9 in the okay, big so blind. Very defendable in the big blind here. <coughs> I know that sounds kind of yeah, crazy. But uh, when these blind levels are this high, you have to take some more chances. Raise 100. King four six off. Let's see if Jack decides to see bet. I think he's. I think he is. Leaving himself not much left behind. Two twenty five k setting up a nice turn turn shove. Excuse me. Yeah, the down bet too. Raise Only eighty k. Just about less than a little, oh, actually, excuse me, a little over a quarter size. And he lets go of the jack nine, showing his <laughs> opponents. I didn't have anything, but if I did, I'd be in there. Nice hand for Jack. He chips up to about 600K, and we're moving on. We had a super chat to talk about here. Oh, let's see it. 499 for Mr. Poker Monkey. Well, thank you so very much. Says, let's get the super chat train going for these guys. Go, Jack. Go, TJ. Thank you so very much for the Super Chat, my brother. Appreciate it, PM. You were definitely getting played, Guys, all the Super Chats, the they don't go to Texas Carnhouse. House. They go to your boys back in the booth. That's myself, all the commentators, and, of course, the back 
end guys, Cooper and Tyler, working bet their butts off back there tonight. Just goes to make sure we, uh, we just get a little taken care of, that's all. A little something something. Hard work for uh, the hard stream we put on. Six nights a week. Five nights a week, sorry. Sometimes six. Absolutely. A lot of questions about the buy-in again, guys. It's $365. That was the buy-in tonight. Kieran looking at King 9 off. And he's going to look to open. Attacking those blinds. put the pump fake in. It looked like he was going to try to make a move on him. Knowing that the uh, the button range open could be fairly wide there. Elects not to and folds. Alice Acuna with a 999 super chat. Thank you so very much, my love. Says Let's choo choo. Go. Some more love for Jack. Ben Pez. Thank you, thank you. Thank you so very much, my dear. So great to see you the other day. And I hear you guys are showing up on the 19th to play some poker here at TCH. Let's go. Yes, sir. That's awesome. We've been trying to meet up once a month. Kieran looking at King Queen off in the cutoff. Kieran's going to make it 125 to go. See if he gets any action. Back to the big blind. Queen 9 off for quad J. Just a little weak. But I think it's just there barely, and he is going to make that call. So let's see a flop. He is dominated right now. Needs some help. Oh, boy. In the window. Oh, but it's an ace on the board, so at least he can get away from some holdings here. Needs a nine to improve. Yeah, let's see what both players do here. Very interesting. Yeah, because, you know, Kieran knows that the ace could be in his big blind calling range and a, and a weak ace at that. So this really connects with his calling range from the big blind. Cool. And he's going to lead out for 200. Kieran not going anywhere thus far. He, he's going to make the call. And a five now. Check. Let's see if Quad J wants to make a move here. He's going to have to go all in if he wants it to work. And he's going to do it. He ships it. Wow, what a spot here to put his opponent in. The double barrel on the turn, putting Kieran in a real crazy spot. But what a bailout on the river, though. Yeah, great, great card to do this with. And now... Oh, boy. You just got to think if you're curing, what, am, am I just going to call to chop most of the time? Am I beating anything? Absolutely. Like, what, am, what am I? If I am beating something, how often is my opponent really going to have that and do this when I could easily just have aces up on this board? Trying to do the odds, I think. This opponent could just have a five here. It was a, absolutely like yeah, a five, from a five, check check on the flop, connecting on the turn. Three four definitely possible. A suited three four here. You know that bit's that the full big blind range here. Yeah, the so. full big blind range, defendable range here. An ace is in this range. Um, I just yeah. What makes it interesting is, is it enough fold equity here for Quad J with three hundred K? He's gonna make, oh, the, he call makes the call, and they're gonna chop it. Wow. What a play on both sides. That's I really a, like that's, that. Yeah, that's a lot. that's uh that's a hard, that's a tough spot to be in. 
Hey, see my wife in the chat. What's up, Miss Angie? What's up, girlfriend? Hello, Angie. Hello, hello. Oh, we also had a $20 super oh, chat sick. from DFS. No What's comment. up? <laughs> no comment. Well, yeah, no comment. But <laughs> thank you, DFS Brett. Yeah, thanks, it was really bro. cool seeing you the other day. I saw him a couple days. I saw him on the Turbo Friday and uh, this morning. Yes, for sure. You dealt to me on Friday. I did. Thanks for the cooler. I'm sorry, buddy. It's okay. I'm really sorry. <laughs> I came back. It's fine. Cool. I came back in cash. It's fine. Oh, rock and roll. Yeah. All right, sweet. Guys, we have so many new viewers tonight. Just got the word from our producer that there's so many unsubbed viewers watching tonight. And if you like tournament poker, we've got tournament poker. Well, like high stakes it. cash game poker, we've got it. And here we go. Next hand, Jack's got pocket pocket jacks. Jacks with with the jacks here. I wonder if he genuinely likes that hand or not. Oh, Dove now. Could make a move here with the king five suited. This holding definitely eligible. He's in the cutoff. He's got a few more hands to make a move if he does want to. And he is going to let it go. SC, though, on the button same with the ace tray of diamonds. Same, same position, thing. Yeah. yeah. Same, same thing here. Definitely an el eligible holding to ship your stack in with. I mean, against against a lot of opens with, you know, 330, that there is fold equity there. Of course, Jack's going to be hard to get away from. Yeah, I don't see Jack getting size, away with, uh, with it if uh, SC goes, but let's see what he decides to do. Any of these wheel these wheel suited aces, great candidates, especially when you're short stacked. New sub here from Siobhan Kundu. Thank you so much. Guys, if you hit that sub button, you're that much more likely to cash your next tournament. And he's going to do it. <laughs> Absolutely. He does make the, the rip here for 330. Let's see if he gets any action. It looks like he gets a snap call from Jack, and let's go to a run out. A classic spot here. Pocket pair versus the suited ace. Absolutely. One over to worry about. I see diamond and a oh wow boy I, uh, <laughs> a top and bottom pair. Jello needs to find a jack and a jack only. That is it for Jello's tournament life. It's not uh, no Jello had oh Jello SC oh yeah cover. he had a cover yep sorry. Ace is up is gonna take it down for SC. He gets a much needed double up and now Jello is on not quite fumes but very close. You might know Jack from Next Gen Poker. One of the fastest growing U poker YouTube channels out there on the market. Him and his three, him and his two friends, Frankie and Rosie, have been crushing the poker scene. Yeah, I saw Frankie last night. I was in here playing cash, uh, playing cash on the same table as Frankie last night. Always good to see those guys. So awesome and great to see him make a final table appearance tonight. And it's great to see all these players here tonight. Lots of regulars in the room. Pat in the Hat actually was very, very excited to be on the stream tonight. He was talking to me before we started tonight. He's made some final table appearances. He's looking to win one. All these players looking to take home 14 grand. Definitely a nice payday for the amount of time you put in here and the buy-in. I think it's one of the best value tournaments, you know, really in the area. Dove looking at King 10 suited. He's going to ship it. Better than King 5, so I just over I like, six bigs here. I like the patience there. Now SC and Ace again. And he's thinking about with his newly minted chip stack. <laughs> Made it so neat then. Boop. Not suited this time. Oh boy. Ace Jack for JJ. And he's gonna let her rip. For 550. 
And they're going to go heads up. Ace Jack versus King 10, another common spot here that you see in tournaments. Well, let's do it. Both players holding Broadway combos. Let's Ace Jack needs happens. to hold. King 10 needs to find some help. Ace Jack slightly favored in this scenario. Ace in the window. Just like that, King 10 drawing very slim. Not even a redraw out there. Now he picks up a 10, so any King or 10 will do it on the river. That's oh. not going to do it. Ace is up. We'll eliminate Dove in eighth place. Dove, thank you so much for coming to TCH tonight and taking home $1,979. We will see you next time at Texas Cardhouse Dallas. Good game, buddy. Nice chatting before the stream as well. I know his wife was watching as well. Hello. Throw some GGs in chat for Dove as we get on underway. The next hand of this final table. Seven players remain now. Let's get her done. Two eliminations and we're barely on hand 23. Really moving along here. Karen looking at the king 10 off. And now the same scenario, except King 10 ain't suited. Two of the bigger stacks here. Big Ur. Looks like he's going to bump it on up. He's going to make it 300K to go. I really enjoy this three bet. See if Kieran wants to play this one. He's just going to let it go. He's going to respect that raise. I mean, there's still a few short stacks at the table. Don't want to risk any ICM suicide there. Yeah, it's just a strong line. Strong, you know, strong three, line, yeah. weak holding. Three, three betting from uh, under the gun open. Plus one open. But uh, he might have gained some information there as well. Maybe uh, Kieran could be opening too many hands here, so we'll see if he takes advantage of that later on in the tournament. minutes left in this level and as you can see in the back our next level 30 60 60 there's a little shot of Cooper there in the background book it he made a stream appearance fives for SC he's had a couple nice holdings or excuse me a nice couple runouts already looks like he's gonna play the rush make it 100k to go And JJ waking up with a premium. Ace Jack suited in the hijack. Facing a min raise. Looks like he's going to go for the three bet. And he makes it 255 to go. And Ace Jack suited for TJ. And we could see TJ make a move here. Out of position with the ace jack suited. Yeah, I don't mind the fold either. <laughs> Facing a three bet out of position with ace jack, you could easily have a dominated ace there. Six hundred thousand? 
We'll take the over first. Taking a look at our chip stacks here. A lot of middling stacks left in the tournament, so it's really wide open for who can take this down. A double up for any of these middling stacks makes it very interesting. TJ, of course, in the chip lead. Also all in. Quad J looking at Ace Jack off. You can hear audio from past hands happening in the yeah. background. Don't uh, <laughs> pay no attention. <laughs> to, the, to the audio you might be hearing. Just thought something was better than nothing. Yeah, absolutely. Quad J with the AJ, gonna make it a buck 50 for your. Takes it down. Audio pleasure. I was waiting for you. <laughs> oh, for you. I know. <laughs> Got a lot of subs coming in. Salutes, say Chris. Thank you so much. Let's see. Thought I saw some more. Take a look, ski. Oh, maybe, maybe. Oh, Jake Earn 11. Thank you so much. One great advantage to, to subbing to TCH Live Poker that you get to chat with the two guys in the booth, and we love to interact with our chat. So come on by in the chat right now. Say hello. An ace four of diamonds for TJ in the cutoff. He's going to open it. Looks like 110 is the number. Gets back to the big blind and quad J with king queen. Looks like he's going to call. He is out of position. And we're going to see a flop. Definitely defendable out of your big blind. And it's going to come queen five tray. So he does find top pair and TJ with a gutter and an over. For not pairing up, actually a pretty comfortable flop to continue on. Unfortunately, his opponent just has the best hand right now by a lot. Queen of the Fell in the chat. Well, hi there, Queen. You remember her uh, being in the chat, or being on stream? I certainly Sorry. do. That was a fun stream. That was a really good stream. Really enjoyed that. And a four does come in. And now a wheel for TJ. He finds, how about a dream river? Runner, runner for the wheel. He only needed one runner. But now it's actually a run out that can, that's going to kill his action here. If he would have just found the deuce instead of the four. Yeah. He would have been able to find some action. But he's going to take it down. He's like, I didn't need the four. I didn't need the four, friend. Noah Smith with a sub as well. Welcome, welcome. We have almost 900 of you guys watching tonight on YouTube. So sick. That is so sick. Welcome, everybody. Action is back to the big blind. Or not, excuse me, not big blind, excuse me. The button, SC with four tray off. Does he want to take advantage of these blinds? He does not. Not quite the stack he wants to be doing that with. Quad J and a small one. Just going to limp. The big blind's going to check, so we're going to see a flop. Comes Jack High, Jack 7 5. That is no play, nothing no for fair. nobody. Nothing, a whole nothing burger. With cheese. Checks to the turn, kind of come a 9. Now a gutter for Quad J, and it looks like he's just going to bet it. He's like, ah, I got some equity. I'm in. 
Yeah, raise and take it, I think, in this situation. Quad J looking at Ace King off on the button. He's going to make it 150 to go. And he's going to take it down. Nestor, do you want to talk? Sorry, buddy. That's okay. That's okay. Yeah. That's all right. <laughs> <laughs> Bunch of rags for everyone. Actual rags. Where's TJ C? He's in seat nine. TJ Coulier, bracelet winner, Hall of Famer, wrote the book literally on final tables. Pat in the hat going to make a move here. Attacking Jello's short stack in his big blind. Yeah, this is Yeah, this is actually a really interesting spot in the, in the in the big. He's going to let it go. He wants something a little better than four high. $2,436 for the next payout. Kieran looking at pocket fours. He's going to open. 150000 An SC right next door with Ace Jack. I like all three options here. Raise, call, or fold. I think all of them can be thrown in to your frequency. Early enough position where you don't want to get squeezed. You want to play a big pot. The ace jack. Like a call, see a flop. Like a raise, take it down. Like literally all options. A nice mix of the time. Yeah, he's got that that uh, that stack size too where uh, a jam here just looks so strong if he were to do that. So I agree with you. A raise, a call. Calling's probably the least of my favorite out of all these. <laughs> I really think he he's just contemplating. He is gonna a three bet. Yeah. He's only gonna leave a hundred back. Four hundred and fifty k with a hundred k behind, just like you said. And Jello is good with a ten. Oh wow. And maybe that's why you leave a hundred back, so you can see what Kieran's gonna do here. If they went heads up, he might have folded. Kieran is out. 100K, 180K is the number. And let's do a classic flip, Ace Jack v. Tens.
Richard, I'll get to your question in a second. That's a great question. Queen, queen, eight. Ten still good here. Deuce, not an improvement. Any ace or jack on the river will take it down. Otherwise, ten's got it. And a queen will be a boat for Jack, and he will get a double up up to 600K. That's a big double up for big him. Big double up. Yeah, big double up for him. All the next gen fans in chat live to see another day with their boy in the eighth seat there. Yeah, Richard asking, uh, how do these guys remain focused playing 12 hours plus where every hand could knock you out of the tournament? Uh, that is the one thing about tournament poker. The mental fortitude that it takes to get this far and, and play a sharp game the whole time, it's very difficult. I have no answers for how to stay uh, razor sharp focus. So your guess is as good as mine. Some people are better at it than others. Um, but it's just one of those things. Yeah, you just have to, you have to stay sharp and that's what makes uh, tournaments so difficult. Any hand can be your literal last. So just one of those things with tournament play. Mike Verona with a sub on YouTube. Thank you so very much. Welcome to the stream. And uh, Delgar, we do not condone get in such there, eh? things. No, God, no. Good Lord. I'm a wholesome boy. <laughs> Scout's on her. Scout's on her. SC's going to elect to jam it all in with King-5 suited under the gun. Wants everybody to fold. Very strong line. <laughs> Wants everyone to fold, but he has decent equity against any calls. And he does get all the folds. A nice move there. Profits him 150K. We continue on. Yeah, I like that move a little more in position, but with how timid this table has been... A uh, great opportunity to take a stab and uh, take the blinds down. And as you said, your equity is not bad if you do get called. Queen, Jack of Spades for JJ. Early position. Yeah, I, I, I don't mind that at all. Not at all. Just quite not good enough to be calling any shoves. Yeah, with his stack size, definitely. Knowing that it's TJ's bud. Back to the blinds now. Kieran, King 4 suited. Actually, really like putting pressure on the big blind here with the sanity. He does. Oh, and Essie oh, with a King-9 wow. suited. I don't know if he's going to make this call, though. He is. He is going to make the call, and he has Kieran dominated. What a series of events here. I think there's only one King left, too, because TJ folded one. Well, let's see the run out, then. And I believe this is for SC's tournament life. Let's take a look. It's ace, 10, eight on the flop. No improvement, king nine still playing. There are some chop run out possibilities. That's not one of them, but the hearts are there also. He doesn't need the heart draw, but he's got it. And a deuce will pair the board. It's a chop pot now. They're playing the 10 kicker. Sick. Wow. Super sick. That's one of those spots where you call it the king nine and you just pat yourself on the back, say, I was right for once. Yeah. <laughs> and then you get a run out like that. <laughs> SC really sizing Kieran up, too. That's uh, really impressive there. And I think that kind of goes to show uh, the mentality of modern poker versus uh, some older play. So you see TJ had the same suited king. And then you see what Kieran did and what SC did, all with the same holding, played three completely different ways. JJ Queen 10, pretty much the same thing as last hand. Ace King for Pat, he shoves it. 675, doesn't want, not gonna waste any time with these open sizes. Yeah, 10 big blinds. Oh my goodness. Oh wow, TJ. TJ. 
see what he decides to do with the pocket eight balls. Definitely has a stack to call this off. But in earlier position, he's just going to elect not to go to a race. Oh, wow. Well. <laughs> well, you would have loved to see this. Absolutely. Because SC shoving here is not going to be for any more. So he would have just been in great shape. And Quad J here, Jack 5 in the big blind lets it go. So let's go to a run out. Ace King v Ace King. No, neither player is suited, but we'll see what happens. We've seen it all, and if you're a tournament player, you know literally anything can happen. It's the cruel part of seeing all five cards. 744 is two diamonds here. Both player with a diamond. And, well, that's going to be pretty irrelevant here. But there are chop outs now. And 7 or 4 will do it. And a deuce will not do that. So, trip fours so with Ace King Kicker. Oh, they're going to chop anyway. Chop it. Yeah, I, I don't know what, I, don't, I, don't know what I was the, talking about. That was. The turn on. Just <laughs> word. It's word. Okay. Ugh. First fumble. First fumble. <laughs> Hand number. Whatever. 30, we're at. 37. <laughs> I got to get the clipboard <laughs> or like the, the dry erase board. Yeah. This many hands since, <laughs> since Ben Fumbles. Workplace <laughs> incident. Nice. <laughs> Eights would have been good there, too. It sure would have been. Two large chip stacks leading the way, a lot of middling stacks. 30-60-60, quad J, premium, ace-king suited. And he's going to limp it. Limp with the check, a king would be a disaster. And it's in fact the 10 high board to clubs. So how about the nut club draw for Quad J? Two overs to the board. Has 90% on this flop. JJ drawing awfully slow when he gets out of the way. King high, no kicker red. Not good. Guys, we got about a thousand of you watching. I'm gonna set a like goal real quick to 400 by the end of the stream. But we're but we're gonna need your help. Let's go. Smash the like button for me if you are enjoying tonight's event. TJ opening up onto the plus one with pocket fives. Quad J now with ace five suited. Pat and the hat's going to get out of the way. Ace five versus fives. Ace five board? Yes, for a lot. <laughs> it's an ace board, though, and that is going to be the best hand for Quad J. TJ going to check, Quad J going to bet. I can't imagine TJ is going to be around for much longer. He's already gone, already in the muck. Nice hand for Quad J. Time. 
TJ looking down at ace nine off. He's gonna make it 200k to go. Action folds back, what's all the way to the button here. JJ's out too, just the blinds, Pat's out. Now Jello, his nickname is Jello. Yep. Gets out. TJ takes it down. TJ really starting to ramp up the aggression. Oh, nice roll. Good night with the 100 roll. Nice. Again, thank you for joining us, Ben Miney and Pez in the booth, TCH Dallas final table. Hello, hello, I'm Ben, that's Pez. We do this every single Saturday, the final table coverage of our 20K guarantee No Limit Hold'em tournament for a 365 buy-in. We smiggity smashed that guarantee tonight for up to 60,000 bucks. Always nice to see. One of the best weekly one day events you can find not in <laughs> not just Texas, but pretty close to the country. Yeah, it's really a fantastic uh, tournament here. I mean, you, you look at the, at the at the big tournaments with multi-day flights that are the same guarantee for less buy-ins. You, you think, what are we doing? What, what, why is there so much? One day events are just so much higher EV. Uh, I guess, well, I shouldn't say that. Yeah. <laughs> one-day tournaments um, are definitely highly valuable, you know, when you can just get it all done in one day, not have to come back for that second day, third day even. Day seven. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> like, it's a lot, it's just a, a lot more a different of a, attractive of, a, of an event to play because you do know it's one day. You know, you don't have to commit more, more time to if I make a day two, can I stay? If you come from out of town, you know, you can drive in. Have a go at it. You make a final table, get a room, and go home. Yeah, for sure. Like, you yeah. can def definitely make good hourlies in those multi-day tournaments, but your hourly obviously gets pretty significantly reduced when you have to divide it amongst multiple days. Absolutely. And we got a hand brewing. Quad J opening pocket eights, and now Jack with the King Jack suited. And he's going to let it go. Are you paying hourly for tournaments at, at TCH? No, you definitely don't. You just have to pay your, make sure your membership fees are up to date, and that's just your daily, monthly, or yearly. That's just the, uh, you know, the membership fees to get in the door and make sure you are up to date with uh, your membership with us at Texas Card House. Other than that, you don't have to pay any seat fee, rental fee. Just pay your tournament entry, and you're good to go. Wow, that uh, graphic really just got me there. Four stacks under ten big blinds. Oh, boy. Things are about to light up. You don't want to blind yourself out. You want to give yourself the best opportunity to go for the win. And when you're right around that 10 big blind range is when you should be shoving your stack to try to double up to the 20 mark. It's crazy because now because we're, we're actually seeing TJ with the chip lead. Our headliner for this final table. I, I, I thought there was a couple of players that were neck and neck with him in chips, but he is just solidly in first place here. Daniel J with a great question. How much is the membership at Texas Card House Dallas? It's going to be $10 a day, $30 a month, or $300 a year. Or if you are active, retired, military, EMS, first responder, you do get that monthly membership for $5 a month. Let's go. That's what's up. That is the rate that I pay. Let's go. Let's go. Jack here with the King 4 suited. In the hijack, I, I really like a shove in this position, but we'll see what he likes to do. He lets it go. Because he knew Corinne had ace-9 on the button.
Rin's going to go all in for 450K. And it's going to get through. KZ, how much is the hourly once you remember? The seat rental fees are $13 an hour at Texas Card House Dallas. I believe they're $10 an hour in Austin. Yes, no? tell you. I think I believe they're 10. Uh, but I'm not up on it my does differ. TCH rates, sorry. Yeah, it, it's it's different for each TCH location. I believe just because each region has their own uh, I guess market. Absolutely. So There's that. Absolutely. Sometimes we do have promotions where you can buy in bulk and get discounted rates. That's why you got to follow us at TexasCardHouse.com for all of the promotions going on. Right now, we actually have a pretty cool promotion going on in Dallas. But uh, it doesn't evol involve anything up front. In fact, well, actually, it's all about playing. So if you, if you play, 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 if you like to grind, this promotion is for you in Dallas. If you play up to 200 hours in the month of June, you will receive 40 free hours of time for the month of July. Let's kick that off. For the June playback promotion, I will post that in chat for all the details. You can read up how you can get yourself 40 free hours in Dallas. Kieran now looking at King Jack off. Out of the hijack. He's going to look to rip it. Yeah, and I think what you're seeing here is an effect of uh, all the the shorter stacks here. Uh, we should see the larger stacks tighten up, knowing that these short stacks could jam on them on any hand. But they won't last forever, so we'll see uh, how it goes on as it continues through this level. And I think once we get to the next level, if we stay in this configuration, uh, the next level is going to be a very action level. Basically, from here on out, I think. <laughs> Short stacks looking for their spot. Big stacks don't want to get caught in something. Pat in the hat's going to let it go. Well, let it let it rip. Let it rip. Let it yeah. Rip. Let, it let it go. go. Uh, yeah. Let them fly. Yeah. Excuse me. Yeah, we'll let them fly. I like that one. Yeah. <laughs> We're about two hours in, and we still have seven players at this final table. That's pretty freaking wild. Yeah, and they were uh, tin handed for a while, too, uh, two tables. Excuse me, about an hour and a half. Not two hours. About an hour and a half of streaming. That's crazy. Let's go. It is crazy. And, and it's why you're seeing what you're seeing now. You know, these blinds just really start to catch up to you as levels get extended and players remaining in the tournament. Oh, my God. 100% your fault. Eight of diamonds. Really? Yes. Yeah. Eight of diamonds, first run. One thousand viewers joining us tonight, and I've got my question for you after the conclusion of this hand. It's my one question I always ask on the stream. Let's go. Love this. It's my favorite time. No better time than the present, Pess. Absolutely, couldn't agree more. King Queen for Jack. 
He's going to let them fly for 310k. Seven Deuce is promptly going to release his. Release, the, release cards in the muck, and then uh, Kieran with six tray shows it. Smiles <laughs> and folds. Nice hand for it, Jack. Gets some much needed chips. All right. It's that time. I always ask this question. Get ready in the chat. I want to know where you guys are from. So if you're watching poker somewhere around the world tonight on YouTube, we're all joined together in one spot. We're watching Dallas Poker, but I want to know where you're from. So drop your location in the chat. Show some love. I'm going to read off the first batch that I do see. And since we've got a lot of viewership tonight, I'll make sure I do as much as I can. So get in that chat. Let us know. Quad J looking at King Queen off. Lying in. I'll JJ. Oh, yeah, absolutely. JJ with a couple JJs. I'm sure he loves this. This is what he lives for. This is literally what you live for when your name is JJ. Do you, you know, a lot of people dislike this hand. I just want to know if your name is JJ, do you have an appreciation for JJ? I'm sure you play it a, a, like even maybe like half a percent more than, you, <laughs> than the average person. Six is just going to make the lay down. Quad J with King Queen probably not wanting to call off this massive shove here. 580k to go. This is just about 10, 10 more big blinds to call. And it's about just about half his stack, a little less. And he does make the fold. JJ picks up that much needed hand. And now it's time to start reading off some locations. Let's go. Let me get to the top. There's lots of them. We have a whole bunch. Whole freaking bunch. All right, I've got Lantana, Texas, Worcester, Massachusetts, Tulsa, Oklahoma, Palestine, Oklahoma, Cyprus, Texas, Austin, Tampa. Hello from Boston. Hello, Miss Claire. Houston right next door. Planet Krypton, Tampa again. Dallas, New York, baby, in all caps. Roy City, Houston, Plano, Fort Worth, Bay City, Michigan. Let's see. I got Mansfield, Denver, Canada, eh? Detroit, Bristol, England. Hello, England. Hot Springs, Arizona. Fort Worth, Houston, Pyongyang. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Jacksonville, Florida. San Antonio. Guys, welcome to Texas Card House Live. We have a hand brewing here. Let's do it. Ace, deuce, all in of the club variety for 460K here in King Queen on the button. And he's just going to shove on top. He is behind right now. But he's got a couple live cards. Let's do it. I'm so sorry. I need to stop DFS, uh, just your veteran ID will work. DD214, not necessary. And let's see this run out. Ace Deuce versus King Queen off. I'm ready. Oh, King in the window. Triple spades, that's not going to matter. Unless it comes five of them. Okay. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, no, no, no. All right, now he needs an ace or an ace only. Does not find it. In fact, Kieran improves the two pair and eliminates Jack in seventh place. All of our next-gen fans, hit the GGs in chat. Show Jack your love. Congrats, Jack, on making the 2400 bucks. We'll see you next time on TCH Live, my friend. Good to see you, buddy. Good to see you. Couple new subs here: Sean Harris, Stacy Bailey Walker. Thank you so much. If your sub does come through on Streamlabs in the chat, I'm gonna read it out. So that's one reason to get subbed to the channel as well. If you, as if you needed more reasons. Also, Alex Wega with a sub. I see uh, El Paso, Texas, in the chat. What's Just up? Shout out Chico's Tacos. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's a uh, world-renowned taco Ooh. place Ooh. in El Paso. All right, noted. If I'm ever there, I'm yeah, in. If you ever drive through, you got to definitely stop at Chico's. Yeah, easy. That's an easy ask. Also, Derek Quintana with a sub. Thank you. SC now. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. He's going for glory. 410, and he didn't even think. Oh, oh and a snap call. Oh, oh is it, it's a cooler. Kings v. Queens here.
Kings versus Queens. Big hand here. And no help for the Queens. Needs a runner, runner, or a queen. That is not it. And that is going to be aces and kings for SC. Big hand. Big hand, big double up for SC. Was very patient, waited for his spots, and uh, now it's paid off up to 15 big blinds. A nice hand. Is going to leave JJ crippled. Let's see what JJ's got left to work with. Is that about... Maybe five big blinds or so, or more? I didn't, couldn't see. $3,000 up for grabs on the next elimination. And then we start to hit those big boy jumps. It all started with, with the ace 10 against my ace king. Remember? Big long. Kieran with the queen six suited. Reminiscing from like two hours ago. Yeah. <laughs> Talking about bad beat stories. Talking about bad beat stories. <laughs> <laughs> Quad J now with the tanks on the button. And that's going to get through. Looks like it, and it sure does. Nice hand for Quad J. Couple, as Ben Kirby likes to say, pointy boys <laughs> for Kieran. American Airlines. I think it's our second aircraft sighting this evening. Looks like he's going to make it 200K. Is he going to get any action? Shows a big sizing there. <laughs> he does not get any, just takes the blinds. Guys, we're sitting about 240 likes, 1,000 people watching, and 400 is the goal by the end of the stream. Once we hit that number, I'll shut up about it. I really will. But we got to get there, or else I won't have a job in the morning. And that might be incentive for you to not like, but let's just pretend I didn't <laughs> give you that insight. Remove. <laughs> just, can I, can I revoke, or what is it? That's, that's the word chat revoked uh it's not revoked if i hold on if i type something in chat oh, i guess it's just retracted that's the yeah. word i was looking for <laughs> got it got it sc gonna open up the ace five off under the gun jj with the same hand Kieran. What? How in the world? Back to back. We don't really see this very often on the stream at all in our cash or tournaments, so kind of a sick thing here. Back to back aces for Kieran. You just rarely see it in general. Yeah. As a player. Yeah. <laughs> it's hard enough to get back to back pocket pairs in general. He's going to. Did he say all of it? Okay, 400. Oh, 400. And and these two have have tussled a little bit this far. Does SC think Kieran's trying to squeeze him out? But yeah, just not a strong enough hand to even try to make a move on. And as we can see, Kieran with the best of it.
Ace nine offsuit for Quad J is gonna be a full in early position, fair enough. And gets back to TJ on the button. Looks like he hasn't folded his hand yet. Three hundred thousand. What? Is this real? Is this real life? Kieran, back to back to what? back American Airlines. What? He's played it differently three times too. Let's see what he decides to do here. See if he fun. I mean, like he didn't get paid on either yeah, of his raises. Like, so see. does he just smooth here? Let's just see what happens. I mean, this is a huge size too. This is crazy. Oh, I guess the blinds are up. Maybe this yeah. isn't so bad. The blinds did just go up. He three bet to a million. And uh, TJ <laughs> just going to be happy to get out of the way oh here. Oh, my. <laughs> oh, my God. Is he going to say? Look at him. Three times in a row. He's telling He's the table right now. He's telling him right now. No one believes him. Well, well, the thing is that there's a stream here to, to like, you know, yeah, fact you can't check lie this. About it. Yeah, you can't lie about He's it. He's like, no joke. I have had aces the past three hands. Unbelievable. <laughs> That's insane. <laughs> Chat's going wild. Chat's going wild for Jeez. that. I would be going Chat's wild, Chat's gone too. wild. That's inappropriate. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Wade just really trying to cooler somebody. I really don't even know the odds of getting a pocket pair three in a row, and let Pat alone the, the same gonna, pocket pair. Yeah, Pat in the Hat's going to rip 10-9 suit here. All right, here. let's go. I love a shove here over, you know, calling shoves. So. Definitely has full equity with 435K. And Kieran's just screaming, where was this three hands ago? <laughs> like, you could have done this a second ago. <laughs> Ace Jack is in there with a mix of it to call off. And let's see a flop. 10-9 has outs. A couple of live cards. It's suited. Let's see a run out. The odds are astronomical, 100%. Oh, 10 in the window. Wow. Wow, looking great. Nothing but a couple overs and backdoor hearts for the Ace Jack. The 10 9 gonna hold. Uh oh. A 9 now. I said it. Why'd I say oh. it? Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> the curse is real, too. The curse dude. is really it's real. So, like, if I don't catch it, it's so it usually gross, happens. Dude. Yeah, it's so gross. 10 9 takes it down. Pat gets a nice double up there. For a while there, I thought you had, you know, like insider info, insider trading. It just happens so often, but oh, it's no, really God. just off the cuff. Yet I, nope. <laughs> it's nope. really off the cuff. <laughs> Quite canny ability you have for that. <laughs> really impressive. Can we just talk about the sixes? Six of spades, bro? Six of spades? Bro? I will never forget that, as long as I live. I was screaming for a six of spades on stream one time for the same thing, but, mm. you know. It, it you has to be me. Yeah, you didn't juice me, so. One in 10.7 billion. That seems pretty. Wow. So Pat in the Hat gets a big double up there. That's a big hand. Yeah. 1.1 in his stack now. Also, Glenn R with a sub. Welcome to the stream. Continue. Yeah, I mean, he's got this uh, newly minted stack. Let's see if he starts to uh, play a little more aggressively. Mystery holding thus far, but he's going to open it up. Ace deuce for Pat and Hag. Gets a raise and take it. Now he gets more chips. Chips are going Pat's way now. Boy, look at these stack sizes. This is this has blood written all over it. The storm is brewing, folks. Tornado warning in effect for TCH Dallas. Three stacks under 10 big blinds. 40, 80, 80 for the blinds. Can we do queens again? All right, this time queens got a hit, though, yeah? Oh, my gosh. I know he's hung on pretty damn good. So sick. 
Let's see now King Four off. Absolutely. Let's see if Quad J's got anything to play with here. Queen Five of Clubs. Yeah, sometimes I like making a move against the blind sometimes. Oh, but if JJ's going to just do that work with a queen six. And ace nine for oh, Pat. Oh, wow. He's running hot so far. He's got the best hand this time. Is he going to hold or is queen six going to find a little something something? Let's see it. Let's see it. Sniffs the play out. How about it? It's king nine four. So para nine's the best hand. Backdoor hearts and a queen. Uh, that's gonna oh, kill that's that gonna drop. Up. But Jack will do it. No Jack is gonna be the best hand for Pat. And he's gonna eliminate JJ in sixth place. GG's for JJ. Taking home $3,015 for his trouble. Pat in the hat now, chipping up. Two big hands. Missed Owinta with a sub as well. Thank you so much. And now we're down to five. The field is thinning out. The blinds are getting higher. Let's see who's going to take down 14K. Good game, JJ. Taking home $3,000. If you're going to turn on some run good, the final table is the place to do it. And Pat in the hat just running into it. Running into that run good. Back to Pat. He folds and gives TJ a walk with the ace five. I think Pat has a chip lead now. I mean, yeah. <laughs> Three huge <laughs> pots. Let's see, I see about 1.2. I think he's got about 1.4, 1.5 million. Um, no, unless that was. Was that, did, uh, was did that a million four in red? Four? No, I think he did his 4 and 4. Okay. So that's 8. 1.3, 1.4, 1.6. Yeah. Well, about 1.6. Yeah. I think I, a final answer is about 1.6 for me. If I had to guess. We'll see it in a second. I suppose we will. <laughs> Ah. So close. Pat, 10-7 on the button is going to put some pressure on the blinds. TJ, though, oh with a premium boy. ace, jack of spades. Five hand and a quick call. What? No, oh, no. Yeah, oh, oh, oh he, it looked like he slid a chip in there. Uh, okay, he wasn't he's dead still yet. cutting out his raising uh, chips. All right, my heart. Yeah. <laughs> I thought he was just absolutely playing the rush for sure. TJ's wanting some of his chips back. <laughs> <laughs> he got a few, but not many. It's anybody's game here on TCH Live tonight. Just about a thousand of you watching tonight all over the world. I saw some I saw some uh, domestic viewership and some international viewership guys. As Thank always. you all for hanging out with us. We're in Dallas tonight. Quad J with Ace Queen. <laughs> The big D. <laughs> He's going to bump it up. 200K to go. And it's back to Kieran with a suited ace of his hole in, in, in his holding in the small blind. Markic takes with the, at the sub. Thank you so much. It looks like we're to go, yeah, heads up to a flop. Your ace, queen, be ace, eight suited. I see a diamond. Oh it's top pair for boy. both players. Oh, boy. Kieran going to quickly check over to his opponent, who does have him bested right now. Kieran with the backdoor diamonds. He's drawing to a four to chop or an eight to take the lead. It's going to be 300 and a quick call. And an eight. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh, wow. Aces and eights for Kieran. And he takes checks. the lead. He's going to he let his opponent shove in a snap call. Wow. He did exactly what you said. He induced the action. He got the action. That's a great play. Love that check there. All in. 
And now a queen or a queen only for the re-suck, or the re-re-suck does not find it. Ace is up, will take the hand and eliminate Quad J in fifth place. Quad J taking home $3,806. A great score there. Hate to get sucked out on, but if it's going to happen at some point, at least happen in the money when you take it home 3800 bucks. And so. Kieran now wow. with the dominating chip lead. 50% of the chips in play are in Kieran's stack. That's insane. Well, when you get aces three times in a row. I mean, well, he didn't even get any goes, action on those. Yeah, <laughs> then you suck out with uh, the two pair. I guess he got a free 300 k from TJ when he hit. Sized yeah, up with a jack play. five. Yeah. And Kieran running into some run good. And if you're here for TJ Cloutier, he's still here. He is four-handed now. He's trying to win the whole dang thing. He's going to need some help, though. He's Kieran. got some serious stacks to get through. SC in the small blind, 10-5 suited. He short stack, 390K. Let's see if he decides to make a move. <laughs> Let's see what he is going to decide to do. It looks like he is going to raise it the slightly over minimum, up to 170. And the dirty diaper for Pat. Yeah, it's gone. Gone. He's gone. It's gone. This pot is yesterday. My producer is posing a question in the chat right now. 400 likes. Can we do it? I don't know. We're going to need your help. If you are wa enjoying what you're watching, hit that little thumb. It goes a long way to support the stream for the little price, free 99. So I got faith in my uh, chat community. Okay. It has been said. Let's pump it up, chat. I know you got it in you. SC now with 8-9 of clubs on the button. Patting the hat, king, queen off. He's going to call for an extra 40,000. TJ going to raise, though, and he's going to raise it big up to 380. And Patton the hat has him quite beat right now. As he's kind of got his hand disguised, his hand strength disguised. Yeah, it really is, and he might be learning a, a tough lesson here of uh, why not this uh, flat the small blind if he opens there TJ is out of there 100 percent of the time and TJ you know definitely knows how to handle himself on a final table We're getting down to the nitty-gritty four players remain Big pay jumps ensuing. 5K to the next player eliminated, then to 6, then to 9, then to 14. Six is for Pat on the button. He's going to be opening this one. Two hundred forty thousand is the price, and nobody with anything to play along with. So he'll take down those blinds. Nice hand. All right, who do we think's got this one? In the seat one, is it going to be Kieran with the newly minted, really, really big stack at three million? Is it going to be SC, the smaller stack at the table? But we love a comeback story. So is he going to get there? Is it going to be our man Pat in the Hat, who's been running hot lately, or? How about the WSOP bracelet, multiple bracelet holder, and Hall of Famer TJ Cloutier? I think we have a great story to tell here for the ladies' last four players. Let's get down to it. Pat going to raise it up, 225 with the ace tray. Gets back to the big blind. He takes it all the way. That's two blinds, two rounds of blinds he gets to take. 
Nice hand. Is this a ring event? No, it is not. Just your local Texas tournament, which means 3x the buy or er, 3x the guarantee. <laughs> Standard Dallas, Texas things out here. If you're watching from afar and you've wanted to come play poker and maybe you don't want to go to Vegas right now, come out to Dallas. Come get in on this action. Great cash game. The room's packed. I mean, it's just, it's crazy. I was here last night. Room was, was jam-packed, every table. In here tonight, same thing. It's just, just pure it's action. It's just business as usual. I've seen a nice spread of love here. One two playing like two five, in the chat for who they think is gonna win. We got some some for the, our chip leader, some for of course T.J. Cloutier. We're almost there to our like goal, only 58 likes away, but we're gonna need some help. So hit that button for me real quick. If you don't mind, King Jack for Kieran. Yeah, super incentivized to just apply all the pressure holding half the chips. And he gets it done. Nice hand. We might be seeing a little bit of this go down until we see that short stack get eliminated. Yeah, or bully, unless they run it up. Bully poker here. Three hundred and fifty-eight likes now. I knew I had faith in my chat community. Raise two fifty. My chat professionals. SC has not folded yet the six deuce. Does he just want to make a move? And he thinks better of it. Let's see if it would have worked. Now ah, King Jack for TJ is definitely gonna be shoving on this big blind. Oh or at least boy. raising a lot. He didn't shove. He did rig it just 500K. Assuming this would get the same job done. But Kieran with a real hand here. He's seven a suited. Just gets out of the way. Nice yeah, hand for TJ. Sizing. That was some valuable information. That's a valuable yeah, show. Yeah, definitely. Tahoe Rangefinder with a sub on YouTube. Thank you so much. Welcome, welcome. Love seeing all of the new subs. I think we've added over 50 new subs tonight. So sick. Which is awesome for our Saturday stream. That You guys are constantly making this the most popular we stream that we do at Texas Card House Live, and we thank you for tuning in every Saturday. Always a pleasure bringing you guys this action. Ace six suited for TJ is going to go for two. And queen five suited for SC. Doesn't want to just rip it in there in the big blind. Sitting on less than three bigs. Yeah, this is a real tough uh, decision to make here. I'm actually really not sure what the GTO stuff says with the ICM involved. He's going to find something better than queen five high. And we're just going to keep moving. All in. Pay no attention to that. Our, our audio is still <laughs> on an unfortunate delay. Thank you for sticking with us anyway. We just Eddie, wanted some ambient noise. That's Eddie all. Overcast, yes. Tournament every Saturday here at TCH Dallas. It's the big one or the bigger one or in special occasions, an even bigger one. <laughs> they just get bigger. They do. <laughs> we have tournaments every day, though, here at Texas Card House. And now is SC much more happy to find Kings. Oh. What? Oh, my God. And Queens. Kings versus Queens. Can Queens find a little help here? We just saw this holding. 
queen, kings versus queens, and SC also had kings the last time. Can queens get there? C2 That's not hearts. it. Backdoor hearts, kings. live. Yep, yep. Kings points to get a double up, though. Ten on the turn is not going to help the queens. Queen and a queen only. Mm, no dice, no paint for the queens. Kings gets the double up to 540 for SC. Nice hand. SC with the chip in the chair. Six bigs now. Next Gen Poker joining us in chat, and I believe that's Jack. He's got the check mark next to it. What does that mean? I mean, he's special. It means that they're a special YouTube channel. What's up, guys? Usually, that, I think that means over 100 subs. 100 oh, 100 nice. thousand subs. Yeah, I saw Frank and Rosie last night playing cash. Oh, Anna Rodriguez. <laughs> Giving Jack some love oh there. My. Oh, boy. Oh, oh, boy. Jack did tell me that. He thinks his he thought his girlfriend was going to be chatting some at some point <laughs> through the stream. And surprise, he's wa she's waiting now. Kieran Look. now with the premium for him. There we go, Ace Jack off suit. And that's going to take it down. Yeah, Kieran can basically open any two until the short stack's gone. It's just a, a ridiculous advantage he has right now. And the ICM pressure on the other two stacks not to fight back until that short stack is gone uh, definitely plays into his advantage. Brian Dilks, thanks for the sub. SC going to shove with the queen seven, and he's going to take down. Looks like most the blonde. Oh, oh, and, oh my goodness. Look at, that, look at Yeah, that. I just, look just got a call. Just like, I mean. Commentator curse over here. Just yeah, assuming yeah. the worst yeah, and know. Then <laughs> the best and well, it's the worst. On the bright side, queen seven's got live cards. Let's see if SC's gonna find another double up here. He needs some help though. <laughs> Easy peasy, seven oh to the boy. door. <laughs> Just like that. Backdoor spade. Uh, that's not gonna happen, so now an ace or a king. <laughs> and the short stack doubles up again. Oh SC my. now up to 1.2 million. And now we have a poker game if you didn't uh, vote for SC when I asked earlier, now we're a little closer. We see it all the time, Miney. We yep. talk about it all the time. Yep, sure do. Final table action. You see all five when you're short. Yep. And you can just, uh, you know, get lucky, really. So nice hand for SC, and we have got a game. Only seven likes, six of likes away from the stream goal. Guys, you are awesome. It's the stream like goal, excuse me. Let's go. Shout out to the 28% naysayers. We're going to get there with six. I already know it. How dare y'all vote no. PJ going to open it up. King, oh queen for TJ. Kieran, 7, 6. Both of them with hearts. 10, 8 for SC. All these players with a million or more in chips. I mean, SC doesn't have the hand to do it, but a, uh, a massive three bet here I think would get through. It would be kind of ridiculous, but I don't think he's going to do it. If anything, he's, he's going to call. He's looking at stack sizes. And he's like, it's out of the way. So now we're going to go heads up. Heart, number one, but king high flop. King queen flops the best of it. 
But how about a gutter for Kieran drawing to a four? And TJ rips it. Oh, boy. Just wants this hand over with. Doesn't even want those draws to pay anywhere near a price. That <laughs> makes sense. Not a whole lot of draws out there, to be honest, no. though. No. So I guess he's a lot of time getting called by worse. Yeah. I'm, yeah, I'm fine with a shove. It's kind of kind of shrug at this point. Yeah, forehanded, really tough to say. Uh, what, what, could what's be argued even either way. A million is like yeah, it could be argued. Ten bigs. Almost. Uh, about, 50, about yeah, about thirteen, fourteen bigs. All in. Yeah. It's a lot though. <laughs> yeah, no, it is. No, absolutely. Like my insightful is. commentary is that's a lot. No, it's a lot. He could have tried to induce a bluff with a check, um, but you know, to each his own. I guess I'll stick to the play-by-play. -play. <laughs> this this color is not color stuff. Not for me. It's not for you. No. I just like to smile and have a good time. <laughs> <laughs> Heads up to a flop. It's going to come. How about Jack High All Spades? Jack 8 4 is going to be nothing for either player. No player with the spade in their hand. Can I steal your line real quick? Yeah, go ahead. Monochromatic. Monochromatic. Jack 4. Yes, eight. sir. It's going to come a 7 on the turn. That is no improvement for either holding. Check over to Kieran. Look at this. Oh. Look at this. Yep. Oh, look at this. Maybe a slow played something something in Kieran's range here. Yeah, and this is going to get it done a lot of the time. He gets it done. The tornado's incoming. My, we're oh, about yeah. to flip over to the 50, 100, 100 level. Oh, absolutely. This is just going to turn into a shove fest, as I like to call it. Oh, my goodness. I missed a $20 super chat here from DFS Brat. It says, this is for the people in back and you commentators. Let's go for a very awesome stream. Thank Let's you, go. DFS, my friend. Appreciate it very much. And like you were saying, that 50, 100 level is coming up, and that is going to be a banger for sure. Sirens going off already. Stay indoors. Stay glued to the television or your mobile device or your laptop or tablet. However you're receiving our content, we do appreciate it. Absolutely. We're nearing the end. If you've been here from the beginning, it's been a heck of a story to tell. It started with TJ Cloutier with a big chip lead, and now he's here fighting to take it all down, but he's got to get through three great players in Kieran, SC, and Pat in the hat. Back to him in the small blind. Queen five lets it go. To the big blind it goes. Yeah, gets a I walk. Think the, uh, the entire table senses this, too. They, they, they see the same storm ensuing that we can see. The level just flipped over now. Who's going to take it down? Who you got? I almost want to just like roll a number. Like if if I try and pick on insight, I'm going to wish doom upon uh, it's going to be oh, doom yeah, upon that person. Fair. So yeah. might as well just do a four number RNG. TJ on the button, queen jack. Great to put some pressure on the blinds. 97 for Kieran is probably not going to be any Ooh. What do I know? I should just let it happen. I'm just going to let it happen. I'm just I'm, I'm done. I'm just going to let it happen. I'm just going to go after the fact. Comes King Jack 8 to hearts. going to be middle pair for TJ. And he's going to rip it and get a quick fold. Nice hand. TJ takes down 500K in profit. He's up to 1.8 million in chips. Something to note here, though, Kieran knows that when he gets involved with the limp hand with TJ, TJ is going to be the aggressor. 
Let's see if he has that awareness in real time and can take advantage of that when the opportunity comes. Hand number 76 of the evening. Back to the blinds. Queen 10 for SC, a great hand to make a move on. Can absolutely raise this out of the small. Four-handed. Looks like he's going with tree fitty. And a suited queen five for Pat. Does Makes not the elect fold. to defend. It's the calm before the storm here for sure. It really is. Don't go anywhere yet. You're just... Uh, Really getting down to the nitty gritty. I actually really enjoy that uh, the tournaments run down this way. It, it really makes for a final, uh, interesting final Raise table. And Kieran with the premium. Ace King offsuit. Pay no attention to the all ins there. That's from a previous hand. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Kieran, though, probably going to be opening, and he will make a 350. <laughs> <laughs> It looks like he uh, – oh, last time I said this, it was a cooler. All right. He gets no action from the blinds. Seven deuce, no good. Kieran takes it down. A little bit of a size and tell there from Kieran. I can't tell you how many times I've personally been at a final table where we've ran into this similar situation where just any hand at any moment – can uh, change your tournament outcome. Yeah, I, I can't wait to see the, uh, how crazy the chat and the commentators were. <laughs> <laughs> the, uh, Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> All right, 250K is the open from SC. I can't wait to see that. And he's going to get that through. Four players remaining. $14,000 up for grabs here. Hand number 79 of the evening. Pat in the hat looking at seven deuce. TJ looking at eight deuce. I can still hear them in my head. In, in my Karen now with the queen five. He's going to bump it up. SC now with Jack Four suited. It was science, right, over me. Steam clean of things were funny. Oh, nice. It's not. It's not the us stream though. We're just here to ha we're happily here to hang out with these dudes. Watch some poker. Yeah, we're not all serious business suits and ties around here, but we do like to keep it entertaining, but entertaining know, and the, professional. Absolutely, and when the table's this entertaining and we have action, it uh makes life a little easier for us. Karen all in with the ace nine of diamonds and looks like he's going to get no action. That man has raised and taken pot after pot after pot. Yeah, he's just really commanding the table now, which which is, I mean, putting on a clinic basically what to do with the with the large stack chip lead, dominating chip lead over the other three players. Let's see if they uh 
if they start to sense some aggression back towards him. But right now in the driver's seat, Pat in the hat, ace 10. It's going to make it 480K to go. He's going to let it fly. And he's going to take it down. Showing the ace. Nice, nice, nice. We keep it, keeping it going. Guys, you might not hear the table audio anymore. Uh, just <laughs> work with us here. It's going to be the voices of Ben Miney and Matt Lopez filling the void here. Let's go. The answer is somebody moved some boxes in our production room and unplugged something, and we weren't be, we weren't able to tell until we went live. So couldn't fix it. So here we go. But we're gonna still try and provide a quality stream for you until it's all over. We got four players left. Let's go. Who you got to win it? Is it gonna be Kieran S C Pat in the Hat or the one and only T J Cloutier? Let's go to the next hand. King ten for S C under the gun. Thinking about if he wants to make a move with this one. He is first to act, though. Ten big blinds remaining. He is going to open. Make it 2-10. Nothing but garbage for the first couple players. Oh and it suited a six for Kieran. We could see it go in here from Kieran. He's got the stack to do it. He's just going to call. He wants to see a flop first. So here we go. Oh, boy. Wow. Five, Trey, four is going to be an open ender and two overs for Kieran. He's happy to rip it. Backdoor flush draws possible as well. Just a couple overs to the board for SC. Looks him up a little bit. How many bluffs am I ever beating here? And they've gotten into it more times than once on this final table. SC sized him up a couple times. Kieran in the dominating lead here. But does SC think he's making a move? King high here. Really in the tank here. He has not folded yet. It is for his tournament life. Let's see if he can come to a fold here. He does make the fold. Kieran up to 3.3 .3 million. Fifty thousand, one hundred thousand with a one hundred thousand big blind ante means that it's very easy to see how many bigs these players have now. <laughs> the price of poker has gone up. Pat with six point eight bigs rips it with a ten seven off. Just wants a little bit of blind money. Yeah, I'll call it lunch the, money. Yeah, from the under the gun, it's just such a strong. Strong move. Strong move, and now you got your blinds paid for for the next round. Questions about the buy-in cost for this tournament. Guys, 365 was the number. Unlimited re-entry for the first four hours of play culminated a total prize pool of $60,900. $14,000 up for grabs, and that's what these players are playing for. The next player to be eliminated will receive $5,024 and a pocket pair for TJ. He's going to raise it up. Looks like a cool, nice 500000 with the pocket sixes. Pat in the hat with an ace. 
Strong hand here in the big blind. It is essentially for your tournament life, though, yep. as it's about 80% of your stack. And he shows the sixes. He's showing he's all his everything. hands. Yeah, he's shown everything. Whew. I mean, as long as you're showing your bluffs and your good hands, <laughs> right? Balance. Yeah, ba <laughs> hashtag balance. Balancing his showing range. <laughs> He wrote the book, man. Who am I to judge? Jeez Louise. I just like to smile. Look pretty. Commentate some poker for all y'all. About 1,200 of you guys Sick. watching us tonight. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Ace King for SC in the on the button, excuse me, of the offsuit variety. I think this is good enough for, for an open. What do you think? Uh, absolutely. Okay, great. Open rip. Nice. Easy peasy. 540,000 tournament chips. I like how disguised this is as well on the button. If anyone had anything close to a call, they might have to pull the trigger knowing that he could be doing this with anything. He takes down the blinds. We're on well, to the next one. Not anything. A wider range, excuse me. Steam Kalina is an SC fan. Some more SC fans coming out of the woodwork as it gets closer and closer. In chip stacks, anyway. Absolutely. Sub 10 big blinds for two of these stacks. Three, maybe. I don't, I don't know what uh, TJ has. I know he's on the fringe as well. Back to the blinds. Fours for TJ. And he just rips it. Let's it fly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, at this point, I mean, sub 10, any almost any pocket pair. You have to be aggressive to try to get your double up here because, you know, you got to build some sort of stack to be able to, to fight against Kieran if it gets down to it. Pat in the hat with the suited queen. Looks like he's going to make a move. And SC with the ace deuce in the big blind. Very similar situation. And he's going to get in there. It's an all-in scenario here. Oh, boy. And it looks like Pat in the Hat is the player at risk. No, no, no. Excuse me. SC. SC. I knew it was close. Oh, wait. Now the button's back at the queen train. I don't know. Well, someone's at risk here. We're going to find out. Ace Deuce in the lead. Let's take a look at the run out. Bada bang. Queen right there on the flop is the best hand. Unless we can find an ace or a deuce. Oh, oh God. Boy. Drawing dead, dead now is the ace deuce. Trips for Pat in the Hat. We'll go ahead and double up. Leave SC with almost, almost nothing. Ten thousand in chips. It looks like it's gonna be close. They might actually have. Oh, that's why the button flew around because it actually yeah. was that close. Yeah, it looks. Oh, he oh, does wow. have ten thousand <laughs> left. No bounty chip. <laughs> no, just kidding. He's came back from the dead once. Let's see if he can do it twice. Sub. One big blind. He's got 10% of a big blind. Really 5%. Oh, yeah, with the Annie. The Annie. Yeah. <laughs> Jinx. He gets max value out of a small blind, though. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> we are TDA rules here at Texas Cardhouse Dallas, which means that Annie does get preference. We were previously WSOP rules where the big blind gets preference. Important to note when you ha when the player has 10,000 in chips at this stage. <laughs> TJ going to open it up. Makes it 400,000. I can't imagine he's on ace less than ace queen pocket pair plus. And he's all in with the 9-6. Let's see a run out here. Six nine of clubs versus, we'll see. 
Uh, Maybe. I thought I timed it right, but I'm terrible. What am I missing here? King, King five? Ten. King ten. All right. All right. Some live cards for the 9-6 and a little pot there to grab. And it comes queen high. No good. Running straights. Oh, he's got a club draw. Club draw now. And he does not find it. SC's going to be eliminated in fourth place for about $5,000. So, SC, great to watch it tonight. Good Thank game, you for buddy. coming out. GG's for SC in the chat. He's going to take down $5,024. And now we're down to three. Our chip leader in Kieran. TJ Cloutier. WSOP bracelet holder, Hall of Famer, poker book writer, and, of course, Pat in the Hat has been running a little hot. He did lo lose a big pot just a moment ago. Let's see if he can find his way back into it. It's Kieran sitting on three million in chips. The King 7. Are we still on any two here? <laughs> uh, In position, it's a little better, but, you know, with this stack, you know, he gets, you know, raised – he has a decision to make, like we see here, a seven versus king seven, and he can just let it go. It makes a lot of his decision making pretty easy. Chip stacks pretty close. Anybody's game three handed here. Yeah, Pat in the hat could double up and be well in contention. Yes, author, Doug R. Yes, author. I know. <laughs> Hand number 90 this evening. Thank you all for sticking around. TCH Dallas, the big one. Saturday tournament every Saturday. Live streamed every Saturday as well. Ben Miney and Pez in the booth. I'm Ben. That's Pez. We're having a great time. Great time. As always. And hope you guys are having a great time because this show is is not possible without all of you. Over 1,200 viewers tonight on the YouTube. So Kieran with a couple of jacks in the small blind. He hasn't gotten any action from these big holdings on this final table. He's gotten all his action from his middling hands. Let's see if he gets any here. Nope. Number like seven. <laughs> <laughs> Shows the jacks with a smile. Noah Smith asking a good question. Why, do they move, why don't they move seats? Kieran and TJ can't see each other. You see, it's because of the readers on yep. the table. Uh, they can't change the readers in the middle of the stream. The card readers for the RFE, RFID poker cards. They actually can't move on this final table. We don't have any like whole card cams or anything. It's all electronic. That is the reason why they can't move. Patton Hat rips it with a king nine. Gets a fold from both TJ and Kieran. Nice hand. Nice hand, nice hand. <laughs> How much is the first place? About 100 bucks? No! Actually, it's about 14,000. Very close. Very close. King Jack for TJ. Just going to send it. Oh, okay. 800K. Oh, I was like, Oof. oh, boy. And a suited ace nine for Kieran. I'd be very what tempted a, to yeah, rip here. I would, yeah, absolutely. Four-handed, ace nine suited. Just, just looks so much like a move. But let's see if he wants to think any more about that. I mean, if you're, go. if you're just looking at the race size alone, it's just so much. Yeah. That's like what makes it a little more so suspicious to me.
I also forgot to like let you guys know that we smashed the like goal. Oh yeah. Thank you so I knew very, the very, chat very community much. You would step up. Fellow chat pros. I see y'all all the time in the chat. You guys are amazing. Now I'm not gonna ask anymore. <laughs> Karen with the Queen 10 suited, going to elect to jam. Takes blinds. Seeing a little bit of chip trading now. I think it's time to uh, shoot one more here. We get to see a flop. All right. Then it comes a very <laughs> awesome action-packed <laughs> flop. TJ with the worst possible holding. Seven deuce gets out of the way. We're coming close to the end here. Three-handed. 14,000 up for first. Pat in the hat, looking for it. With the king-queen, he's definitely going to be opening here. Yeah, really really any, any all-in from the two shorter stacks could make this thing really interesting. Small blinds out from TJ with a 9-8 of hearts, and now it's back to Kieran, 9 Trey. Ooh, that Gross. was interesting with the 8-9. Tiny in the chat. What's up, buddy? TJ, pocket trays. He's going to raise it up. 500,000. And Pat in the hat, oh, ace jack in the big wow. blind is going to rip it. And what did I say, Miney? What did I say, you said Miney? This. this is what you said. This really changes the tournament for one of these players here. TJ in a spot here. Does he want to call off with the trays and lose the 500K? Are they equally stacked? Uh, so, not quite. Oh, TJ okay. has about 500k yeah. more. <clears throat> but it is going to be an all-in scenario. He makes the call. Ace-Jack versus Trey's, and the Ace-Jack is at risk. It's going to be a Jack in the door. TJ Cloutier needs to find one of two threes remaining in the deck. Oh, that's oh, uh, uh, that, it. Pump fake. A three and a three only. Does not find it. Jack's up is going to be the best hand. And Pat gets the double up through the Hall of Famer. Leaving TJ with four big blinds. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, I could just see the storm brewing, Miney, with those two short stacks. Kieran going to let them duke it out. Wow. What a big hand there. Massive. It just yeah, Massive I mean, is it really like just, an understatement. Yeah, that it was, just really just changes your tournament there. Absolutely. You know, it just really changes it. Pat now gets – I think he's just under $3 million. 
TJ, like you said, just about four big blinds, four or five big blinds left. Kieran with a very openable hand. Is that a word? I don't think so. Yeah. He's just going to call. Just going to limp with the 10 9 suited. Pat in the small blind with a mess of chips. Does not do anything with his hand. TJ, 8 5 of clubs. He might have been trying to induce TJ looking at it. Checks his option. Oh and it's a, oh my boy. goodness. Pair yeah. versus pair here. He's going to snap this. Yep. Top pair versus middle pair. TJ needs an eight or a five or a miracle. I guess uh, no. It comes a king on the turn. That's no improvement. Ten's looking to eliminate TJ Cloutier if he doesn't catch up. And a deuce is going to solidify it. Mr. Cloutier is eliminated in third place. And what's that payout there, my friend? $6,033? That's going to TJ's way. Thank you so much for hanging out with us tonight, TJ, and GG to you. Good game, TJ. Get home safely. Throw some GGs for TJ here in the chat, everybody. And now it's a heads-up match between Pat in the Hat and Kieran. Both sitting at about, uh, well, Kieran will slightly more in chips. But still anybody's game. Heads up poker in Dallas. $14,000 up top to the winner. <clears throat> Pat in the hat, ace, deuce. Heads up. Now we get to watch. Fantastic. Some hands. of my favorite poker. Yeah, oh, this is my favorite. I love playing heads up. You guys have been here the whole way. Don't touch that dial. And there is the packed room at TCH Dallas. I was waiting for this oh, shot. Yeah. It's uh, absolutely booming. It is this busy, though, all the time. I tell no lies. Miney is just <sighs> crazy busy. It's just an amazing room. I'm just so glad this is my local room. We're glad to have everybody here on this fantastic Saturday night. 1-2 action, 2-5, five, 5-10. Five, I think we even got a bigger game out there. We might have 25-50 going out there yeah, on, saw on the floor. Yeah, good old JD out there and Moneymaker. All the PLOs. All the action you could possibly want is now we're seeing a turn here. How do we get to a turn? A pair of tens for Pat. Still the best hand. Comes a deuce on the river. Is the best hand. And Karen, queen high, no good. Now Pat takes the lead in chips. What the heck? That was out of nowhere. Who is going to take it all tonight? 9000 bucks for second place. 14000 for first. Oh, they might be. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Looks like they're, they're looking, looking for looking for a floor for man. Floor. floor man to the feature table, please. Maybe a discussion. I think it is. I think they are about to discuss yeah. this here. Oh, looks like I got the official word. Okay, so they are going to even shop for 11587 is the number I have here from my producer. As it looks like they're talking to the floor man right now. Give me one moment here to confer. We're just going to use this as the outro, though. Yeah. So, like, once, once I'm done here, we can sign out.
All right, guys. So, yeah, we do have the official word. They're going to go ahead and chop it up. Looks like there's actually a small thing here. It looks like it was a phone use violation, so it's like a one-hand penalty. But then they, I'm, I'm told they chop the next hand. So Pastor's going to, like, call. He'll get blinded out. Let's take a look. Interesting spot here. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> yeah. No, he, so he gets yeah. blinded. Yeah, yeah. Right, right, right. Oh, so Pat Pat uses his phone, so he gets blinded. Yeah. Okay, got it. And now they're going to shop here on this hand. We're good to go. Guys, it's been a fantastic tournament. Thank you for hanging out with us. My name is Ben Miney. This is Pez right next door. We had Cooper Wise and Tyler um, winning in the back of house, doing what they do best, making sure the stream runs. Uh, guys, we had a fantastic floor staff on staff for this tournament. Dealers alike. Massage. Massage. Uh, Par uh, therapists. So, ma massage therapists, excuse me, You're okay. waitresses, everybody works so hard, of course, in this room, and we thank them. Uh, we are out of here from Dallas, guys. You all have a fantastic night. We will see you on, let's see, I believe tomorrow we're doing our Congress final table, so we'll be here for that. So if you like the five-card, eight or better tournaments, we've got those here, and we'll be here tomorrow night. So tune in tomorrow. Make sure you're sub with the, the excuse me, the, the bell notification button hit. And uh, we'll see you then. So from Dallas, my name is Ben Mine, of course. One more time, this is Matt Lopez right next to me. We're out of here. You all have a fantastic rest of your Saturday. Take care, everybody.